up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another upload. It is Tuesday, April 3rd. We're still here in Manila or in Makati. We're off to Boracay tomorrow. Uh, our, our condo here actually has like a cool garden here. So we're gonna get some buttery b-roll and this beautiful lady back here is going to tell a little story about why it's important for her to have come back to the Philippines and bring this uh, whitey with her. So let's run that b-roll and uh, today's gonna be a great day. So we're here hanging out in the gardens in the Gramercy residence. Mm -hmm. It's very New York. Did you notice that? Yes, yeah, especially with the tall buildings. Yeah. That. Super New York. So this is my first time here in Asia and Michelle was actually born here. She moved to Canada when she was 10. Um, we were talking earlier about obviously it's been a dozen years since you've come back to the Philippines and Manila. And yes. why is it so, watch your step, <laughs> why is it so important for you to come back home? There are numerous reasons why it's important for me to come back at this point of time. Um, it has been 12 years since I've been here. And one of the main reasons is um, my mother is becoming elderly. She has suffered a stroke um, in 2014 and trying to decide where it is best for her to continue living down the road as she continue to need more support with day-to-day -day living. So for me to feel comfortable about the changes in her life, I have to come here and experience life for myself um, to fully understand um, Medicare and um, location of where she's going to be staying when she continues to stay here uh, longer periods of time. So um, I really wanted to check it out for myself and feel really comfortable for, for that reason. Um, you know, I also feel a great deal of guilt. Um, I've been asked numerous times to come home previous in, in between those 12 years, but honestly, with just life and um, with business, I just couldn't commit. And, and uh, you know, um, in life, sometimes you just have to go for it because there's never a perfect moment. Um, another reason too is my culture is very important to me. It is who I am. I feel like driven um, definitely comes from uh, derived from oh, the base of me being born here and how and what it means for me to be driven and where driven really really comes from. And being that I'm partnered with Dan, who I've been with close to nine years. It's very important for me for for me to have him here and experience what it means to be here in the Philippines and to experience life here in uh, various ways, right from the ghetto, I would say, where I am from, um, to yes, you know, experiencing life in a little bit more of a grand way because we both deserve it because we both work really hard. But um, we work oh, our asses up. We do. We, we care so much. We do so much. We, 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 we cater to everyone's needs. And that's just how we are, really. Um, but sometimes a break is, is also deserving. And what better way than experiencing life here in the Philippines, where I came from, where, where I was born, coming from absolutely nothing, and making it, making it to, in Canada. Because I saw opportunities that Canada offered that it is so impossible to achieve here. So um, yeah, there are various reasons why I decided to come home this time. Um, it's never a perfect moment, um, but you make perfect moments of not so perfect times. Um, I hope you guys understand that Driven really came from the Philippines out of absolutely nothing. 
That was good. Sorry, it's such a okay. short question, but I had to elaborate because it's really important to me, for my partner, and for the people who is part of Driven to truly understand its beginning. And I don't think people see like the whole behind the scenes of what we're doing and where we've sort of come from and where, I mean, for both you and I, we've had a very, very challenging background in our in our like how we've been raised and how we've grown up, and I think we're we're doing okay. We're doing the best we can, and we yeah. hope to do even better, not just for ourselves, but for everybody else who believes in Driven. Awesome. That got a little <laughs> emotional. Uh, well, uh, let's go gonna, check out Greenbelt Mall. We're going to go pick up laundry. <laughs> pick up laundry and then go check out Greenbelt. No, Greenbelt Mall, then laundry. That yeah. makes most sense. It's in the same area, yeah. but we have to walk there. and. Uh, uh, it's great today, it's not, it's not really sunny or too hot, which makes walking comfortable. But otherwise, a lot of people take vehicles everywhere, which I completely understand, but for a person who's really active, something like that takes double the time to drive, and if you can just walk and take less time and be more active, I the prefer that. The activity side of it is so much yeah. better. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. We'll see you guys at the mall. Bye. Bye. So we made it here to the Greenbelt Mall, and this is the main area of the mall, like the main, the main walking area. It's it's incredible here. It's a super high-end mall, and there's five five sections of the mall. So we're walking into Greenbelt Five right now. But look at that in the back. I've never seen a mall like that. This is awkward, but I just wanted to show you the view. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. All right, so that's better. So, back here at the condo. You know, you know from the movies when you're like, we're on our way to get such and such. And then you hear the voiceover that says, well, there you had it. In a nutshell, the plain, unvarnished truth. Yeah, that one. Uh, we didn't... We didn't get burgers. We got the mall. Couldn't find out the place that we wanted to go. We still had to pick up our laundry. We had to get our glasses fixed. We had to exchange cash because we're off to Baraka tomorrow. That's the way it goes. Anyway, on... The good note, good news, on a good note, I did get some food. We found a little place on the way and got a little bit of food so I'm not entirely hangry. And Michelle is out there training a client. It's 7.30 p.m. He's in the east coast of the U.S. So 6.30 back home. Anyway. Um, on the good news, I'm going to get a couple vlogs out of it, and borderline hangry, but Michelle and I are going to go get some food, and if we do, you guys will see it. If not, this will be the sign off of the vlog, especially when you're hangry. Positivity and optimism, although they don't seem useful at the time, they're incredibly beneficial. 2018 style, you can't get enough positivity and optimism. We'll see you guys in another upload. Peace.